Hi everyone, I am trying to run the lab environment for Cedric's and uh, I keep getting this error message which I will show in a minute. When I click on Citrix Studio to launch the console, it takes a few seconds. So when it tries to open up, it throws this error message that the current user does not appear to be the member of an Active Directory domain. Studio cannot be run by a local user. But I logged in as administrator, but I still keep getting this error message. So let us go and do some troubleshooting. So let's go to services and open services console. Let's check if all the mandatory services are up and running or not. So if you see here, let's go. Okay, if you see here, the Citrix AD identity service, which is responsible for managing Active Directory computer accounts, this is in stop state. So let us start the service. This is going to take a few seconds. So the first thing to do is to make sure whether the mandatory services are up and running or not. Okay, seems like it is started and it is running. And we see that the Citrix broker service is also down. So the Citrix broker service is responsible for providing configuration and allowing brokering of connections to desktops and applications. So let's start this service as well. So looks like all the services are running. Oh, we see that the SQL server is down. Let's start the service as well. Okay, the SQL is also up. So let's uh, minimize this and let's relaunch this console and see how it goes. Okay, let's go to search and let's click Citrix Studio. Okay, all right, I still see the same error. Uh, the current user does not appear to be a member of an active directory. Okay, let's try some other troubleshooting steps. So let's check if we are getting proper IP address and are we able to ping the other machine? I mean, the active directory server. IP config forward slash all. Let's check what is IP address. It is 192.168.160.129. The subnet mask is fine and the default gateway is also fine. If you look at the DNS server here, it is 192.168.160.177. This has to be my DNS server. I'm sorry, the AD server or DNS server. So it's 192.168.160.177. So let's go back to the uh, AD server and see what is the IP address there. Okay, so, okay, it's open. So let's type IP config forward slash all. Let's hit enter. Okay, so we see the IP address as 192.168.160.183, which is a preferred IP address. And the default gateway is 192.168.160.2. So the thing is, when we are connected to the AD environment, we have to make sure that all the machines that are connected to the AD environment to a domain that needs to be pointed to the AD server. So the thing is, here we see the DNS DNS service DNS server IP addresses as 192.168.160.177 but if you look at the AD server 
its ip address is 192.168.160.183 so it has to be pointed to 177 actually here here it has to be pointed to 183 i'm sorry so what we what we can do is let's go to cpl.cpl okay let's check the ip address here okay so we have the ip address which is correct subnet mask is okay default gateway is okay so this is still pointing to a different dns server okay which is not the right ip address so probably this is the reason why we are getting the error message so what we can do is we can take this ip address 192.168.160.183 okay let's point this to 183 now click okay click okay and let's see how it goes okay it's uh, it has uh, saved the right ip address now let's close this down and uh, relaunch Citrix Studio and see how it goes. It is going to take a while. All right. So it is actually taking me to the console basically we are not seeing the error message anymore but we see different other uh, other details right now it is asking me to enter the controller information which i will do so i think uh, we have solved the problem so the solution for this particular problem is my controller server is pointing to my old dns server which we had corrected it now so if you check ip config forward slash all you see that it is pointing to a different DNS server now. Now it is pointing to 192.168.160.183. If you go up, it was pointing to 192.168.160.177. So always make sure that you are pointing uh, the controller to the right DNS server to fix this problem. So I hope you find this information helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.